Hi there, I'm your Sjöntes Lab from Vita Lab, and today I'm going to discuss the topic to vaccinate or not to vaccinate, and specifically regarding the COVID-19 vaccine. Every day, numerous times a day, we are getting questions from patients whether they should vaccinate or not. These patients include those that have not yet started their fertility treatment, those that are currently undergoing fertility treatment, and those that are already pregnant, wanting to know, should they vaccinate? Is it safe to vaccinate? And what are our recommendations? Obviously, this is not our recommendations per se. And what we do as doctors is we go and look at the literature, we go and look at the evidence, and we look at the recommendations made by large bodies from around the world on what they are saying with regards to the COVID-19 vaccine. So with regards to recommendations, let's start by discussing the couples who have not yet started fertility treatment. All guidelines recommend that these couples who would like to be vaccinated should be vaccinated prior to starting their therapy. Remember, nobody will force anybody to have the vaccine, but we do know that the vaccine is essential to reduce your risk of hospitalization and death if you contract COVID-19. So the choice of when, whether to vaccinate or not is always yours. But if you're going to be vaccinated, we suggest that you vaccinate prior to starting your treatment. How soon before you start your treatment? Well, most guidelines say just a few days should pass between your last dose, your second dose of vaccine and you starting your therapy. No studies to date <clears throat> have shown any effect on male fertility or female fertility when receiving either of the COVID-19 vaccines available in South Africa. In South Africa, we have two vaccines primarily. One is the Pfizer vaccine. The Pfizer vaccine contains what we call an mRNA vector. And we have the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, which has a viral vector, specifically the adenovirus vector. Both of these vaccines have shown to be safe preconception and not to reduce your chances of conceiving. Preconception, vaccinate. No reason to be hesitant. We have not seen any detrimental effect from the vaccine, either the mRNA or the viral vector vaccines on fertility. Now we'll discuss couples who are currently undergoing fertility treatment. There is no good evidence which says being vaccinated while undergoing treatment has any adverse effects on the outcome. However, the recommendation is that you should not have a vaccine while you are having treatment. Therefore, we, do, we encourage our patients to be vaccinated prior to starting their treatment. Number two, if you're pregnant, early pregnant, do not vaccinate in the first trimester or the first 14 weeks unless you are considered to be high risk. After 14 weeks of pregnancy, it is considered safe to be vaccinated. This is a big topic that we, get, that we discuss and we have questions about this every single day. Our patients, newly pregnant, long journey, undergoing IVF, in, intrauterine insemination, whatever it may be, now they're pregnant and they want to know if they should have the vaccine whilst they're pregnant. Why after the 14th week of gestation, you ask? Well, during the first 14 weeks, most of the development of the baby's organs is happening. <clears throat> this means that every day there are massive changes going on in the central nervous system, in the cardiovascular system, respiratory system, gastrointestinal system, etc. And we don't know if the vaccine could interrupt one of these stages of development. And therefore we suggest to complete your first 14 weeks of pregnancy and then to be vaccinated. <clears throat> Obviously, there are exceptions to this rule. And what are the exceptions to this rule? Any person who is at greater risk of developing severe COVID should probably still be vaccinated even if they're in their first trimester. Who are these people who are at great risk? Currently, we would look at people who are overweight, hypertensive, diabetic, to be the primary group of patients which we consider to be at high risk. But there are many medical conditions which may make you high risk. And therefore, we suggest that if you believe you may be high risk, discuss this with your physician, 
discuss this with your obstetrician and together make a decision whether the benefits of the vaccine may outweigh the possible risks on your pregnancy. Also remember, there is no rule that you must be vaccinated. Everybody can make their own decision whether they receive the vaccine or not. It's encouraged, but it is your decision in the end of the day. And lastly, remember to look at our videos, like our videos, share our videos. And if you've got anything else you'd like us to discuss, please let us know in the comments below.